More than 8,000 Ethiopians have fled their homes and crossed the border into Kenya after the Ethiopian military killed at least nine civilians at the weekend. Well, the Kenyan Red Cross says most of those fleeing are women and children, and that number is increasing. Ethiopian authorities claim that the civilians were killed by mistake during an operation against rebels of the Oromo Liberation Front. Meanwhile, eyewitnesses have described how people were shot. One said he'd actually seen a soldier approach an old man and shoot him through the neck. While I was in the emergency ward assisting victims, I came across the body of my uncle. I was shocked to see that. I asked how he was killed. And people told me the military told him, hands up, then shot him while his hands were up. Well, Talasa Achucha is with the Red Cross in Kenya, which is helping the Ethiopians as they arrive. And she spoke to us earlier. The situation is very pathetic. Asylum seekers are coming in in large numbers, mainly women and children. Uh, we have not realized pregnant women lactating. The elderly people with these chronic illnesses have started arriving in. We have seen people, special interest groups like the disabled or able differently have arrived in the area. Some of them carried on donkey bucks and, you know, various means have been used. Some fled on the way as they were coming in the bushes. Some even have been injured on the way, uh, maybe because they're running through the bush, hiding from, you know, whatever enemy that they're running away from. And so right now they are not in any designated camp. They are scattered across, some with relatives, some with well-wishers, some in very congested areas. So we're working round the clock to ensure that uh, these asylum seekers are put into a central point, a designated camp kind of setup. 